Hi students, welcome to QT Tutti. Myself, Subbanna. I have secured Allender and 535 in GATE EC paper and I have been associated with Government of India since 4 years. Now I want to share my experience on how to prepare for GATE exam and I want to give some tips to you while preparing GATE exam, what should you have to take the, what steps you have to consider. If you take EC GATE paper, in EC paper they have total 10 subjects. So if you start from mathematics, you have mathematics and aptitude. And if you take four subjects, you have network theory, signals, and digital communication, digital, uh, digital circuits, and control systems, EDC, analog circuits, communication system, and EMP. First, you start your preparation with mathematics because mathematics is very scoring subjects. And if you know mathematics thoroughly, the concepts are useful for four subjects also. For example, if you take mathematics, in mathematics, one topic is there calculus. If you perfect with calculus, then the entire EMTL, electromagnetic theory, will be easy for you because the whatever you learn in mathematics vector calculus, same calculations you are going to do in electromagnetic theory. Same thing if you know some matrices, some matrices concepts are useful in control system, that state space analysis, one topic is that there the uh, matrices concepts are useful. So you start your preparation with mathematics, then you go for aptitude and reasoning. Because in gate exam, in entire 100 marks, aptitude, reasoning and mathematics will take 28 marks. That means 28% of the marks will cover from mathematics and aptitude. If you thorough with these two topics, I can say you can qualify gate exam without studying technical subjects. So you be perfect with mathematics and aptitude. Then coming to core subjects, you divide entire your core subjects into three parts. This is my experience, what I followed in my preparation. So, you have eight subjects, you divide eight subjects into three parts. One part is basic subjects, second is moderate, third is advanced. If you take basic part, I followed in my preparation, in basic part, I studied network theory, digital, then control system, then signals. Because these four subjects are very easy, you can score very easily marks from these subjects. For these subjects, no need of extra calculation, no need of extra hard work, no, no need of extra hard work. So you, if you have just minimum concepts, if you clear idea about the concept, then you can able to solve every question in the gate exam. Of course, some questions they will ask difficult, but one thing you should remember in gate exam, 65 questions were asked in gate exam, but no need to attempt 65 questions. If you attempt perfectly 40 to 45 questions, then I can say you will going to get very good rank. So be perfect with basic subjects. So first you start technical subjects with network theory, then you come to signals and system, then digital circuits, then control system. Then second part you divide into moderate subjects. In moderate subjects, you prepare for EDC and analog circuits. It depends upon person to person. So what I feel is compared to communication system and EMTL, EDC and analog circuits are somewhat easy what I feel. But some people will feel analog circuits are difficult compared to EMTL. But as per my preparation, I felt that your analog circuits is easy compared to EMP. So in moderate, you have two subjects. One is EDC, other one is analog circuits. Then coming to advanced subjects, that is communication system and EMP. If you take communication system and EMP, in EMP, if you know basics thoroughly and if you have concepts, you can do every question in EMP. But the people feel EMP is very difficult. But if you practice well, then you can clear the all questions in EMTL. But coming to communication system, it is something different. Because if you while preparing for GATE exam, you feel that communication system is very easy. But if you go to examination, the questions were different. And if you see previous papers also, the questions are very lengthy and it will take more time to solve the questions in examination. So as per my suggestion, you put communication system at the last and I am not saying that you leave the communication system directly, but you be perfect with the concepts. Of course, some parts of the communication system is difficult, like probability error calculations and some quantitation nice error. So those you just go through the formulas because in sometimes in gate exam, they ask the questions directly based on the formulas. In that time, there is, you, you, you don't give the chance to lose the marks because if you just substitute the values in the formula then you are going to get the result and you are going to get the answer directly so be perfect with basics in communication system and go through all you go through all the 
topics first so if uh, if you feel some difficult in probable direct calculation don't skip directly just go through once and remind the formulas and i can say by heart the formulas if some question will ask based on directly formula then you are in position to solve the question if you skip directly then some simple questions will ask then you may feel regret after coming from the examination so be perfect with basic subject first then coming to moderate then coming to advanced this is how you have to proceed towards the preparation after preparation you should be you should give online test series because online test series will help you to check where you are because in gate exam some lakhs of people will attempt the exam out of that lack of people first we have to check where we are while preparing you may feel that you know everything but after attempt the questions then you come to know where you are doing the mistakes so my suggestion is after preparation you try to give the online test series of course so many institutes providing online test series you take whatever wish you want but uh, but in, uh, but in, uh, log in for only one online test series one institute because if you go through all institutes then the question paper model will change i can say no institute will frame the questions like gate exam but somewhat you can practice by using online test series then later you go through all previous year papers like instrumentation electrical and electronics if you take network theory control system digital electronic some analog circuits same for all the streams instrumentation make, uh, sorry electrical and ec so you solve all the previous year papers and mathematics you solve all the branches including production also so production engineering also mathematics is there so you solve all the branch papers for mathematics then aptitude reasoning also for all the branches aptitude and reasoning is there then you solve all the papers then i want to tell you what are the opportunities if you get good rank in gate exam there are plenty of opportunities that there for ece of course pss are compared to electrical from what list but if you take vls side there are so many opportunities are there if you get good rank then if you place some iits in vls if you, VLS, if you get admission in vls then you can expect starting package of 20 lakhs start per annum so try to focus more on basics and previous year papers then i can say you can clear the exam very easily so if you take psus recently the psus are recruiting by directly they conduct in the examination so most of the psus they are not recruiting recently so one of the one psu they are recruiting every two years like airport authority of india and uh, bsnl they recruit in 2017 after that, there is no recruitment so i think next year or by next year some recruitment is there so you prepare for psus also and if you want to get top psus like iocl and ongc you should be you should get below 100 i can say if you are general you should get below 100 so for that you have to prepare and for that you have to practice more i can i cannot say it is difficult so if you practice more and if you have basics thoroughly then you can get the rank very easily so it is all about preparation and what are the opportunities for gate exam then uh, you i told you already uh, you write the test series and uh, online uh, previous papers also important so but you go through previous papers and analyze the question how they are framing the question because you have the concepts you have the formulas and you are able to solve the problem but if you are not in position to how they are framing the question then you you will not, you will not you will confuse in the examination first you go through previous papers and see how the professor is framing the question then up then after analyzing the question then you are then again once again you study the class notes and material then you can able you can easily get idea how they are going to uh, frame the question so practice all the previous papers and write the test series then after test series don't compare your result with others for example if you take one test series first time if you get some after 25 if you get 6 to 7 marks then yes you are in right path don't think that first attempt i have to get 25 out of 25 or 20 or about 25 it is not possible if you if you are getting 10 12 or 13 marks it is very good and you are in right path so keep attempting att attempting the online online test series then 
don't compare the your result with others because it will demotivate you so just compare just see the solution if you for example if you done one question in online test series that question went wrong then you go through the solution given by that institute then you are going to get uh, some idea how to approach the question basically in gate exam everyone will do the question but in how much time you are taking for one question is important for for example one question if you take 5 minutes it is not useful it is not not a result oriented maximum time i can say 3 minutes in gate exam maximum time you can take for one question that is the maximum time minimum time you can solve one more question within 30 to 20 seconds you can solve so just try the previous questions and try to solve all the models of papers and attempt the previous papers so that you will get better clarity so many students will ask that how many hours you have to prepare daily so it depends for example if you have log into any online classes or if you going if you are going to any offline classes i think classes will take 4 to 5 hours mostly maximum 5 hours they will teach so after classes you go through the concepts once again whatever discussed in the class don't go other things so today one topic for example today one topic is completed in our class so go through that class topics and go through the previous paper questions whatever asked in the topic and one more suggestion from my side is i told you to start with mathematics and aptitude after mathematics and aptitude daily you spend one hour or two hours on mathematics and aptitude because if you sit for 5 to 6 hours on mathematics and aptitude you may get bored if you take technical subjects it is not like that if you study technical subject you won't get bored because technical technical subjects are very interesting so you won't get bored but mathematics and aptitude are different so my suggestion is daily spend one or two hours either morning session or evening session on mathematics so and my suggestion is you take evening session that is from 8 to 10 that is everyone will get sleep in at 8 to 10 that time you take mathematics or aptitude then the time time will be saved then you are going to you are going to you do, you don't miss the interest on the subject right if you take technical subjects at night time 8 to 10 you may feel drowsy so go through mathematics and aptitude so one more question students will frequently ask is how many months you have to prepare for gate exam and my suggestion is you have to take at least 6 months because some people will think that last month december i will start and uh, january i will prepare february i will get good time so it is not like university exam so it is a gate exam so you have to focus at least 6 months so you be of course you might join in online classes or offline classes go through online class or offline classes and uh, you should be kept at least 3 months for preparation complete 3 months for preparation last 3 months i can say from november onwards don't go to any classes you be in house or you be in hostel you prepare class notes and go through concepts and give the online test series and solve the all previous papers and be touch with the subjects because if you once miss the subjects then you may you will forget definitely you will forget the concept and you have to go you have to you will go you have to go one more time to the coaching that will benefit for coaching institute not for you so be thorough with the concept and be touch with the subjects you are going you are going to get the good rank definitely you are going to get the good rank so this is my answer to the question how many months prepare for the gate exam uh, tutu institute is a very good reputed institute in india so they are providing online test series and online classes so i suggest you to take online classes from tutu because all faculty are well experienced and they have all i uh, i can say all faculty are working in some associations are associated with the government of india they are all cracked the gate exam and esc so my suggestion is you take online classes in tutor and prepare well and the fact if you take the faculty in tutor they are well qualified and they complete their graduations in nits and iits and they have all they cleared almost all government exams whatever conducted in state and central exams so they know how to prepare the exam and they know how to what what topics they have to prepare so you should i suggest you to take online classes in tutu and you can expect very good guidance in tutu and if you prepare or if you take the coaching the 
one who is not getting anything or who didn't get get rent then you be like the same like you be last end up with same thing so you take coaching from the one who already got the good rent so i suggest you to take coaching in twitter because all faculty are already cleared the gate exam and esc exam so they know everything and they know how to prepare for comp to examinations so they they will give good guidance so i suggest you to take coaching in twitter all the best i hope you you will going to succeed in gate exam and i hope you are going to get a good psu or you are going to assess with competitive thank you